Hey gang, Missouri Mike here again. Looks like Jeff's got him a friend. Got him a kitty cat. So we're here at this old Victorian house just starting out hunting. And the lady wanted, wanted the cat to go with Jeff. And I said, sure, just go ahead and bring the cat along. The cat can come with Jeff all she wants. And I told Jeff, I said, is that a deal breaker? No, nope. so we're not taking the cat, but we are gonna hunt. It's a cool day, the coolest day we've had all month. It's uh, only gonna be 80 today. We're on a busy street though, so let's see if we can find. Jeff's already on one, first hole. I'm gonna walk over here and live dig him, or live video him here. Doing a live dig. I'm always slow getting my machine out because I have to talk too much and think about what I'm doing. I gotta remember to turn it on half the time. And his first dig of the day is, oh, it's a relic. What is it? A copper nut. Well, that's a nice find. Let's, let's see if we can get something better than that. Good job, man. Oh, the cat's still there. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, you're running from me. All right, let's see what else we can get. All right, guys, pardon the road and the goat noise. My first dig here, this spot, after the jet run, or Jeff run the cat off, which he didn't run it off, I'm just teasing him. Cat, where'd the cat go? Anyway, my first dig is a Tootsie car. It looks like an oil tanker. It's pretty cool because I'm getting into restoring these, so I'm glad to have that. That's a fire engine, I believe. I'm glad to have that, that's awesome. All right, so let's see if we can get some more. I'm excited about that. It's down about four inches or so. So, nice Tootsie. Tootsie car. So that's in good shape. Let's see if we can get some more. Alright guys, Jeff just came over after I dug that Tootsie car and there's the cat. It's still hanging around. Maybe it'll be a good luck charm. It is for Jeff. Got him a sweet 1912 V nickel. Wow, that's awesome. Good job, dude. First dig, first real dig for him of the morning, and 1912 V nickel. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Cat likes me more than he does. Yeah, you. the cat likes you better. I feel, Come I on, feel kitty. bad. I feel bad. Now stay here, kitty. Bring me some luck. It's good luck, cat. Come here, kitty. Kitty, come here. Ah, darn it. I'm not going to find anything else. Up. Oh, come here, cat. Can't, can't name the cat. I think I'm going to name the cat Elroy. Elroy the coin cat. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, guys. Right there where I just found that Tootsie car number one, I just had a Tootsie car spill. Here's another one. That's my second one. In same hole. Cool. Got a Tootsie car spill. That's another one. That's an older one. That's sweet. Two Tootsie cars in the same hole. First time I ever done that. Alright. That's some down about right in here. There's our kitty cat. You scared me, cat. Elroy. Alright, Elroy scared me. Anyway. He's wanting to see what he can find over here with me. Elroy the cat. Here, Elroy. Elroy the cat. All right. Two digs, two tootsie toys. See if we can get some more. Elroy's taking a nap already. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Guys, I hit a little bit of junk here. Right here, where I was digging, I missed my target. Come over here and right on top of the ground, laying just about like that right there, just a little bit showing, was this 5 mil Missouri tax token. I hadn't found one of them in a long time. Not a 5 mil. I found a lot of the 1 mils, but this is a 5 mil. 5 mil Missouri tax token. Elroy's bringing me some good luck today. First coin size dig. I'm happy to have that. The five mil always had the hole in the middle. Right, Elroy? 
There you go. Woof woof. Alright, let's see if we can get some more. Stay around everyone. Okay guys, I just got a solid 12 signal on the E-Track 600. And I got Elroy the cat on my back here. Can you see him? He's my good luck charm. He's sitting there on my back. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's kind of he's kind of licking on me. I don't know what's going on, but it kind of feels funny back there. But the police just showed up, making sure we was legal here, and we are. We always ask, and so uh, anyway, he's my good luck charm, I guess. But there's Elroy. Can you see him up there licking on my hat and all? Kind of tickles a little bit. Anyway, down about five inches, so I just popped this buffalo nickel. Get it to focus there on me. And Elroy's bringing me some good luck. Now all I gotta do is get him off my back. I don't know if you can see a date on it or not. I'll check it out later. Nice buffalo, though. Alright, let's get some more. Solid 12 signal on the E track, or on the 600. I knew it was, just, I knew it was a nickel when I hit it. It never bounced off 12 and on the 600 when they hit 12 and the soil that I've been hunting they're almost always a nickel and this had about five inches of depth so let's get some more all right down there Roy get down buddy get down there get down get down oh, no get down oh. get down there Roy ow Ugh. get down there you go all right finally now I go back to hunting. On to the next one. Woo. Alright guys, Elroy left me. So, I just got this 26 signal on the 600. Whoops. And uh, called Jeff over. I know it's silver. I haven't looked at it yet. So he's coming over. And it's down. It wasn't very deep. None of the coins on this dirty side has been more than a couple inches deep. It is. You want to see what it is? Super deep. What is it? Don't know. I haven't looked at. It. Check it out. I think it's the Roosevelt, though. Just guessing. Mercury. Nope. Mercury. That's a nice little white right there. Cool. Uh, right. I'm gonna guess a 45. Probably 44. Oh. All right. <laughs> I got my glasses on. Buddy. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's a 37. You got a lot of slope over here, don't you? Huh? Hunt that. Hunt that side over there. Right. It's where people's been sitting and walking and stuff and laying down, rolling down the hill on the slide. Get her to focus in here. I don't want to focus. It's a 37. All right, 37 mint stamp is zero. So, cool. 37, first silver of the day. Let's get some more. Guys, I'll clean this up better here in a little bit, but it's real crunchy, but it is a Colorado sales tax token. That's cool. That was about four inches deep. We're running up 22 on the, uh, 2122 on the 600. And I tell you right now, I am not in Colorado. So let's see what else we can get. Awesome, fine. Hey guys, not down too deep here. About right here. About an inch and a half deep. I just popped this one here out. And it is a Missouri tax token. A one mil. It rung up a little different. It rung up a 16 on the 600. I'm happy to have that. A lot of road noise here though. Sorry about that. Let's focus here. Alright, let's get some more. Hey guys, we're at a new spot now. This house here is built 1910. And just got started here to start the rain. So, fight the rain. Yeah, I do. Can we get it? Yeah, get it. 1910 built house, it could be anything. What are you thinking? Uh, I think Roosevelt. Mercury. Mercury, yeah. One, right. two. 
19, let's see what she says, it's starting to rain here, 1920 something, maybe a 25, 22, I don't know, wow. that's fine Mike, alright man, let's see if I can get one, let's get, let's get, let's get you one man, it's awesome, rain stay away, dang it, alright, let's see if we can get some more, that was down right about here, it was only about, oh, couple inches deep and I had something over here on this side I don't know what was going on and I got another signal I think maybe in there I'll have to check it and see but the rain's coming in pretty quick here so we'll see hey guys I just popped this out of the hole right here it wasn't very deep it was only about maybe three inches at the most and it's a cool button I I don't I can't tell I think it's cool as you know, my eyes are terrible, but it looks like it's got some writing on it, maybe some stars on it. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it too much here. I'm going to let it dry out. But uh, I ain't sure what it is, actually. I thought it was the eagle button at first, but I can't tell if that's an eagle or just some corrosion on there, or which what it is. But we will check it out better later. I don't want to rub it up too hard. Looks like it's got some major corrosion on it there, but it seems like I see some stars on it. Anyway, I'll see what I can find out. See if I can get more detail on it later. All right, let's see if we can get some more. I got just popped my first weed head here. And Jeffy's already got a couple, and the weed head race is on now. I don't know if I can get a date off of it or not. Yeah, probably not real old. 1956. All right, let's get some more. Up, oh, Jeffy just got him a car. I'm gonna investigate it and see what he's got. What'd you get, Jeffrey? A Tootsie toy pick 'em up truck. All one right. I've never dug before. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah, I like that. I ain't never seen that one either. That's nice. You got him some nice wheels. Yeah, it does. That's a nice one there, dude. He wanted yeah. for you to restore for me, huh? Well, let me practice on the Hot Wheels first. <laughs> when they look out terrible, then yeah. Got me a weed head. How many you got? Six. No, oh, you do not. That's all I've dug over here. All right. I've dug one. All right. Let's get some more weed heads. Hey, guys. Down about three inches or so is this cool little lid. It's off of, it looks like a toy set or something, a little pot, pot lid of some sort. That's kind of cool. It's heavy. All right, let's get some more. Tell you what, guys, we're at another permission here, and Jeff nailed this one. I don't know, the foundation don't look old, but I guarantee you that's an old one. He's absolutely on fire on getting these permissions. 1880, so... Maybe we can get some 1880 old stuff here. We're gonna see, but uh, he just doesn't get turned down. I mean, he's got that look. Me, they think, huh, here comes the short fat guys. Nope, we're not letting him hunt. So, let's see what we can get. Uh-oh, the Silver King, look at him. I gotta Let catch Mike. You gotta yeah, get two one now. I got one. Hey, he just popped him a nice silver. Can you tell it's, the date, is it a 20? Uh, I don't know. You know how good my eyes are. I can't even see a date on it. I think it is a 20. Okay, we'll call it a 20 for now. Yeah. Good job, man. Thank on you. to the next one. Ooh, three silver so far. Let's get some more. Hey, guys. Man, Jeff just hit this nice mercury, and he just looked to check the hole again. I know. You know, I cut the original plug here, and then I came back and I cut this one. And there's another signal. Uh, sounds just as good. Just a probably another clad dime. We bit further, so we thought we'd expose it live, possibly. Maybe it's a barber. Oh yeah, I hear it. And this one is a clad dime. Wow. Any wow. more in there? Three dimes and one hole, two old one, or one old one and a new one. That's that what's it. the chances of that? Wow! You know they weren't dropped at the same time. Nope. nope. That is called karma. There. Wow. Dima. Prima. Dima. You, point, you can just turn your wrist like that, and they go up and down. 
Oh, yeah. You tilted your whole body back to get oh. it up. It's kind of like leaning into a turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, turn it off. Oh, yeah. So, guys, I hadn't found much in this old 1880s house yet. Me and Jeff have moved over to the side yard. You can see the slope there off the front yard. All that dirt's been drifted over. And so we're actually on the side yard now. It's a big side yard. Jeff got him his mercury up there, and he just dug a three pence from British. Three pence from 1942. And this yard's been kind of worked over, but I think it's more of original dirt here. Two old front trees there. He's going digging on one now. And so I'm off the side yard here, and I hadn't found much. I'm just down here about four inches or so. I had a 17 signal on 600. Kind of chopped a little bit, but I went in and dug it anyway. And Jeff looked at it with his phone. I think it's one of them GAR buttons, Grand Army of the Republic buttons. After the Civil War, I guess, there was a group that formed and, and that. So it could vary in age. It maybe have a stamp mark on the back, I don't know. But that's a cool find, for me anyway. So we will keep going. Um, you don't dig a lot of buttons, but I dug that 17 signal and it ended up being a button. I'm happy to have that, so let's see if we can get some more. I'd like to get something really, really good here. I mean, like an old coin or something. I'd like to. I don't know if I will or not, but I'm going to try. You guys, stay tuned. There's no cat around now, so my, my odds have went way down. The cat left me, and so Elroy is no longer with us. So we'll see if we can find something else here. I will get back with you shortly. Okay guys, down around four inches of there, I just dug me a zinc penny. And actually I'm digging around a cellar hole here. Now in Missouri, those are cellar holes. And we don't dig anything but clad. And in Missouri, they're mainly zinc pennies. So this is a Missouri cellar hole coin. A zincin. On to the next one. Now, don't tell Jeff this, but I'm going to give him this as a present because it matches his last name. I uh, know it's something better than a war nickel, so be real quiet, and I'll give it to him here in a little bit. No, not a Jefferson. Better than that. Don't be coming over here and spying on me. This was a secret. I was going to give this to you, but I guess I'll give it to you now because... It matched your name. Ford. That's a piece of junk. <laughs> nah, we'll keep it. Alright, let's, let's throw it in the junk pile. <laughs> Alright, guys. Jeffrey just gave me the thumbs up signal. So, that means silver. We just got out of a new spot, so he's pulled it out of the hole. Is it a good one? Barber? Barber. Barber. Oh, it's been hammered too. Hammered barber. That means hammered coin. Hammered it's silver in the back. United States. Yes. 19 oh. Can't tell what it says. I think it says oh four maybe. Cool. Awesome. Ring up a 1242. Yeah. Boy, that thing has been squeezed well, or something. It has. Anyway, I'm happy as I'll get out with that. That's a slick one. How deep was that? Well, about six, huh? Right here, so five. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Super fine. All right. This yard may be a good one. Mm -hmm. Maybe. That's my first hole. Wow. Maybe there's something really good here. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned. Like, tune in to Channel 9. Give me my coin. Oh, sorry. That was days there. Guys, check this out. It's almost as good as what Jeffrey just got. Jeffrey, show me what you just got. I got a deuce, man. A two center. Wow, look at that. I found one before, but as Mikey remembers, it didn't have much detail on it. It was in the snowstorm. Yeah. That's awesome. Here's my plate that I got. It's not Civil War, but it's close. That's the size of one that I was hoping for, but oh well. 
I said I wanted a plate, so I got one. You guys, right down here about five inches or so. Maybe a little deeper than that, which I've dug some clad right here. It was six or seven. I just popped this green one out. <coughs> Weed head. It's a 1919. There's a ton of them out there. Yep, we'll take it and go on. See what else we can get. Okay, guys. I haven't seen it yet, but I've got it pinpointed right here. It's probably around, I don't know, depending on who's measuring. Five inches, six. It's down a little deeper. Should be in that clod right there, I'm hoping. Nope. Down a little deeper, even. And now we went down. Did I get it? There it is. Let's see what it is. Probably a weed head. Nope. It's a memorial. Boy, that's a deep one thing was there a bit of five inches maybe six all right let's see if we can get something else I guys down about really about six seven inches was this old copper ring brass ring I guess and pretty cool uh, it's not any value to it or anything it is neat I'll clean it up later and see if there's anything on the inside of it but, uh, that's pretty cool Let's get some more. Let me see. Hang on, let me put some juice to the What a day. Man. I'm digging deep clad over there. This yard on this side hadn't been messed with. I've got a bunch. Hmm. I've dug some five inch. Well, uh, I take that back. I dug some. I dug zinc some five tinny. inch memorials over there. Oh, man. Gonna get a date? It probably will have. It is really coated in I that stuff. I wonder how good this yard over right here would be. I know. Wow. Let me sit down and try to see if I can That's pick awesome. up this. That's awesome. Hey guys, it's been a while between signals for me, but I just popped this out. So Silver City. Good luck token. Las Vegas. Maybe I'll put that in my pocket and it'll bring me some extra luck here. We will see. Alright. See what else we can find. Check it out guys, I got a surface find. First thing I found was this little tutti car wheel. That's what it is, it's metal. And here's surface, oh, there's a good little relic. Surface find one, two, three, four, five. Five, all right. And a little tutti wheel. Clad City, man. Let's see if we get some more. Hey, gang. Missouri Mike back again. Just doing a little clean up here. On some hunting that we, Jeff and I had done. Uh, did pretty good on this trip. Jeff really had a great day. Um, let me go through a few finds here. Found a lot of clad on this one. You can see. Got a... few weed heads here 51 27 1960 I guess that wouldn't be a weed head would it uh, got some mercury's here 1941 1930 had an older nickel in 1952 got a Colorado tax token here it's in pretty bad shape I'll take it I did find this pretty cool deal here. Um, I guess it's a gas mirror lead. It's been broken off. Something different. Got me a little wing nut. And a couple tootsies today. Tootsie number one and number two. I had quite a bit of zinc in there, as you can see. But it was a great day. 
Jeff did real well. He got some really nice older coins. I just didn't happen to be in the right spot. But that's the way it goes. I did get this, uh, I believe it's a button for the uh, uh, GAR. Older button. It's pretty nice. I thought it was anyway. Cool relic. Alright guys, I appreciate you coming along. And until next time, this is Mike, and I'm out.